أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome everyone to today's class. I hope and pray that you are all doing well, inshallah. Zakumla for arriving on time and waiting patiently. So we will start with our daily prayer, as we do. Um, so let's have a student. Uh, let's have GB3118. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. How are you? Fine, how are you? Alhamdulillah, very good. Sarkala for asking. So we'll start with Daud and Tasnia and then the opening prayer. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. I seek refuge with Allah from Satan that rejected. Good. Um, and then Tasnia. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of the Allah, the Gosh is the Merciful. Good. And then the opening prayer. Rabbishrahli Sadri wa yassirli amri. Lord, expand my mind and make my make my task easy for me. Excellent. And the reference? Taha 26 to 27. Superb. And do you know what that means? Worse. Good. So um, 26 and 27 are the worses. So you can see over here you've got it in English. Um, in You've got the number 26 here. So that's the first, that's verse 26. And then you've got verse 27. And do you know what Taha stands for? So Taha is actually the name of the surah, okay? Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. Beautiful recitation. Jazakumullah for opening up so beautifully. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah. All right. So let's go quickly. Let's have a look at um, our schedule for today. So Alhamdulillah, we started on time. So for the next 15 or so minutes, we're going to uh, look at our rule in focus, which is um, the Hamza Sakin rule, um, lesson 17 from the Desin al-Quran book um, and then at 5 15 inshallah we will go into our breakout rooms and practice from our reading which is surah al-anam um, verses 92 to 93 then after that at 5 45 we will come back together um when, when i will also send you uh, set you your homework um, and we will finish off conclude with our um closing prayer okay so let's move on to today's lesson. So let's just have a look at the rule. So as I mentioned, we're looking at Hamza Sakin, or in English, a crescent Hamza, okay? Now, what is that? So let's have a look at what that means. So basically in the Holy Quran, there, there are some letters, some Alif or Hamza Sakin letters, okay? Um, so that basically means that there is just an Alif or um, there is a Hamza and there is a Skun on top of it, okay? So you can have either an Alif or an Hamza, yeah? And then on top of it, there is a Skun. So that's what we call an Alif or a Hamza Sarkin letter. Um, now, when this appears, when either of the two appears, so the Alif or the Hamza Sarkin, when they appear, the Hamza sound should be pronounced with a soft jerk, okay? So we make the Hamza sound and we make a soft jerk sound when we um, when we make, um, when we produce that sound, okay? Um, and that sound is created from the bottom of our throat, okay? Um, now, an important thing here that I would just like to mention is that sometimes what happens is uh, people mistake the Hamza Sakin for a iron sound, okay? Now, an iron sound is something different, okay? Um, if I just, so the iron sound looks like an iron, okay? Looks like that, and it's very different from an alif or an Hamza, okay? So when there is a Hamza Sakin, we must not make the iron sound, okay? So you have to be careful with that because often people will confuse that, okay? So let's have a look at an example. So over here, you can see I've got a ta with a fatha, 
and then I've got a lift sucking over here. Okay. Now, when I recite this word, when I read this word, I need to make a soft jerk on the olive, and I would read it as to. Okay, to. Okay. Similarly, if I just give you an example here, I've got a jim with a kasra underneath it, a slant drug underneath it, and I've then I've got a hamza sakin. Okay, again, because I've got a hamza sakin, I have to do a soft jerk sound. So the jim, I will make the sound of the jim as normal as I would. Okay, so one count because it has a vertical stroke, a kasra, and then a jerk sound because of the hamza sakin. And I would read it as G, G, okay, um, and I'm making sure that I don't make an iron sound there, okay. So let's have someone to come and have a go. Um, let's have GB3105 to the mic. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good, how are you? Alhamdulillah, jazakallah for asking. So let's have a go. Um, did you understand the rule, first of all? Yes. Superb. So let's have a go at reading this verse, uh, this word. Good, well done, really good. What about this one? Okay, good. So just a few things. So we've got... A olive sakin. Okay, so we have to do a jerk sound there. Um, but when you read it, there it sounded like an iron. Okay, so we must make sure it's not an iron sound. So ma, ma, good. And then over here we've got a calf with a uh, dhamma, and then we've got a vowel sakin. There's a rule that comes into play here. Do you know what rule it is? A vowel must. Excellent, well done. So what do we need to do when we make that sound? Uh, two counts. Super, well done, okay. So when you read it earlier, it wasn't quite two counts, okay. So let's have another go at reading it. Ma -gulin. Okay, good. So your ma, your uh, alif um, sarkin is perfect. The gaf can be a bit longer because of the vowel mud. So I'll recite it once. And then I would like you to have a go. And I, and I would like everyone at home to also repeat after me, please. Okay. So, Makulin. Makulin. Well done, superb. Um, over here, this word. Na. Good. And then here. Na. Okay, fantastic. Just on the dal, what does the dal carry? What um, what signs does the dal carry? Dhamma. Sorry. Dhamma. Dhamma. Well done. And how long do you spend on a dhamma letter? One. Good. Excellent. One count. Okay. So we make we must make sure that the dal is one count. So as long as the kha is so however much time which is actually ideally one count okay so that that same amount of time should be spent on the dal so when you read it earlier it was a little bit longer so i'll recite it once and then if you repeat after me okay na khudu na khudu good well done so if i say this what what good and then over here what to what do me? Excellent, well done, super. Um, I'm going to stop you there and I'm going to see if I can give another student a chance to come to the mic. Zakala for your participation. Okay, let's have um, GB2440. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum how are you? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah, that's really good to hear. So we're going to start over here. So do you want to have a go at reciting that yourself? Yeah. Okay. So if you start, yeah? Yeah. Good. Over here. Yeah, murukum. Excellent, good. Next one. Ji. Good. Ji, Super. Um, this one. 
تعلمون سوبر what about here فأبو. super mashallah really beautifully recited um have a go at this one be sama mashallah um tu'minuna good this one asatum good and this one yes okay good um just the qaf is a calculator letter which is not something you've covered right now um it will be covered in another course but if you recite after me so so we just give a little bit of a jerk on the qaf but um again this is something that will be covered in another course but mashallah beautifully recited jazakumullah um if we go further down and then have another student and practice a little bit more um let's have GB12370. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as How are you? Good. How are you? Ex I'm very well. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah. Um, so, can you see over here? Can you see this word that I've highlighted? Yes. Yeah. Do you want to have a go at reciting that for me? No. Oh, excellent. So you've done work here, haven't you? Yeah, that's why you changed the no, uh, the fatha of the noon into a school. And if you were not doing work, how would you read it? Excellent. Can you come a little bit closer to the mic if possible, just so that I can hear you clearly? Okay, have a go at this one. Okay. Um, on the Hamza Sakin here, okay, so this red letter, there's a Hamza Sakin, so we need to give a little bit more of a jerk, okay? You minuna. Good. Um, have a go at the oh hang on. Have a go at this last one here. Good. Um have a go at this one. Yeah, okay, say that once more for me. Yeah, Good, well done. Um, and have a go at this one for me. Good, well done. Um, the only thing is, um, on the lamb, the first lamb, what sign is there on top of it? Dana. Good, well done, excellent. Um, so the Dhamma, um, and likewise with the Fatha and the Kasra, so the Fatha, Kasra and Dhamma, they are very sharp sounds, okay? So La, Li, Lu, okay? So just make sure it's a sharp sound, so not Lo, but Lu, okay? Lu, Lu, Un. Lo, Lo, Lu, Un. Good, well done. Um, so let's have a go at a few more. So if I recite and if you repeat after me, please. Ya kulu. Ya kulu. Um, this one. And I want everyone at home to please recite after me as well. Ya tia hum. Ya tia hum. Okay. Ji tukum. Ji tukum. Ji tu kum. Ji tu kum. Good. Um, ta tina. Ta tina. Good. Um, li yu minu. Li yu minu. Okay. Remember, our dhamma sound needs to be very sharp. Li yu minu. Li yu minu. Good. Um, Biroxi. Biroxi. Okay, good. And then this one. Mayati. Mayati. Good. Well done, Mashallah. Beautifully recited. Zakmullah for your participation.